So my students come to me and they have the most amazing ideas about the things they're going to practice, they're going to transcribe, they're going to learn. They're full of inspiration, motivation, and they're just like going to transcribe that solo and next week they're going to play it for me. It's not so hard, you know, they say. And then I say like, yes, great, go, go and do it. And then a week passes and they either have forgotten about it or started transcribing it was a little bit hard but wouldn't talk about it but they have a new idea and then they're going to do that one that's great and some students also like really stick to it and transcribe it and start practicing it after a while but latest after three months they are so annoyed by this transcription and all the work that goes into playing something that at the first view was so easy that they stop and sometimes they really beg me like Tina I can't play the tune anymore I'm, I'm just like totally annoyed by it can't we do anything else and I say like yes I mean if somebody's really like totally annoyed let's stop doing that and if somebody's not totally annoyed I'm like okay maybe we can work a little longer on it and then I return to my own life I watch a YouTube video I hear a song and I'm fascinated I want to transcribe it as well or I watch a YouTube video about publishing content on a weekly basis about making a content calendar about making plans about making a three-year plan um, and I'm totally excited I'm so excited I'm full of energy and I really just want to do that thing for example, I thought that intro for Rosa Passos um, in Sensatess, it's very short, it doesn't sound so hard. And I transcribed it, I needed five days to figure it out and then so while I'm sitting there in my corner transcribing that intro, uh, my boyfriend comes in just to pick something up from my room and he's just listening with one half ear but then he says, oh that's an odd meter and I just naturally say, no it is not. So it's in 7-8, that's not an odd meter. <laughs> and then I couldn't play it. the acoustic guitar I know that I practically never practice finger picking in my right hand but I figured I'm teaching it all the time I will be good enough I will just like I, I'm totally able to handle that and then after a while I just realized I can't play it and I will have to practice much more then I still continue to practice a little bit but after a while just like totally annoyed by that piece and then I stopped practicing it. You know that's a portable audio interface from Zoom. I bought it because you can record yourself on the go like plug the guitar into it. I never plugged my guitar into it. I, I put some batteries in. That's great but I never plugged the guitar in. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to record one of my transcriptions the Jimmy Rainey transcription I've been working on for a year. Still have some spots I can't quite get up to speed. I want to play them perfectly, of course. I want to record it playing in Berlin on the street, you know, so I would hear my guitar with, a, with the little headphones and the audio interface would like record the guitar. I could la later work on the video and publish it on YouTube and that's a great idea except for the fact that I never did it and at the moment it just like doesn't look like I will ever do it. <laughs> so and what happens next normally is I get really frustrated, I 
ask us a lot of questions like, does it make any sense? Am I a good guitar player? And then I go down that road for a while. But also I'm thinking about that graph that I found in Austin Cleon's book, Dark Night of the Soul. It's a pretty funny graph and already feeling a little bit better. <laughs> So in regards to YouTube, I feel bad because I have been announcing so many series and ideas that I want to do. Improvisation on Wednesdays, trans transcription series, so many things. And then I saw that video from Peter McKinnon and he just said like, don't announce what you're doing because it also will block you from doing what you really want. It confines you too much. And that trick I'm definitely trying to do from now on because I have so many ideas and if I don't follow through with them, I feel bad. I feel bad for the audience and feel like I'm letting you down. And so my new credo is I'm not going to announce anything anymore. I'm just going to do what's the most fun for me. So when I'm starting a new transcription project, I always have that big fantasy, like a picture in my head, how things are going to work out, how smoothly the work process is going to be. I'm always very sure that the next thing that I'm working on is going to be much easier than the one I'm working on <laughs> at the moment. So that never works out. It's always hard work doing something valuable is always hard work and I guess it's better to work on the skills like resilience, grit. How can you get yourself to end something that you started in whatever way it is? So deadlines helps, helps me a lot and yeah, just keep going. I mean, it's always hard work and I think everybody who tells you something else is just like selling you a product, but it's it's always hard work. I said hard work now for six times, I guess. So I think you have the point. <laughs> for today. I hope you liked that video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to press the subscribe button because my goal for this year is 1000 subscribers. If I reach that number, I will make a special video. See you. Bye.